gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one Hi guys, welcome back to the channel And welcome to a little Kmart haul Now, just as a um, disclaimer, I'll say that <laughs> uh, I want to make sure you guys know that I won't be just doing Kmart hauls all the time or shop with me's and things like that. So the point of this channel is obviously discovering my rich life and that's not really about money as such, but it is about, um, you know, having the time and the money and things to do the, the things that really matter to me. Um, and, you know, just spending money unneedlessly at Kmart and Big W and things like that is not really part of the journey. Um, so I want you guys to know that if I do a Kmart haul or anything like that or shop with me or something, it's purely to um, maybe help in some way. But definitely for me, like the Kmart haul today are all uh, needs, not wants. And that's really what I try to aim to do now. So I'm all about trying to, um, when I purchase things, just needs, not wants as such. And I'm trying to teach kids that, which is very difficult. I will say that. I have been like letting them, I give them pocket money and then I'm letting them go with me to Kmart or something like that because they want to go or whatever. But I'm really trying to talk through with them whether, you know, the little plastic thing they're going to buy if they're going to be not into it the next day, basically. Especially with Isabella. Not so much Joseph, but like Isabella. With Joseph, it's been very interesting because he's of age where he has a phone. So I'm like, shouldn't you be buying phone credit this week? He didn't for three weeks. He didn't for four weeks. And then he lost his uh, phone credit and he had no phone to be able to use and things like that. So that was a bit of a lesson because he chose to spend his pocket money on something else that wasn't probably necessary. <laughs> it was gaming stuff. Um, so it's it's a really hard challenge, but I'm trying my best to do that with the kids. And even Isabella at this age, you know, because she has so many things. She gets presents at Christmas and birthdays and things like that. Does she really need more dolls? Probably not. So I'm trying to teach her that. So I have to lead by example and that's what I'm trying to do. So in today's shop, it really is um, about needs, not wants as such. So I just thought I'd pick up the camera and show you guys what I got because some of this stuff might be useful for you because it's very obviously affordable. Um, and one thing in particular is for us to do class gifts for Easter. So I'm very interested in showing you that and talking about that more because I will do a separate video on that um, at some point. Hopefully I get that up on the channel before I get this up. So yeah, I'm excited. So let's get to it and see what we have. Oh, another little thing I want to point out, another little trick that I've been doing to do with this kind of thing. So if I've ever like thought I'm in the kitchen, I'm like, oh, I need new trays, as you'll see today. I will think about it and go, do I really need it? So what I'm doing now is actually writing on my shopping list, that, my magnetic shopping list that's on the fridge, anything I think we need, like it might be new knives, a bed, or I don't know, just something like that. I will write it down. No matter what it is, I'll write it down and maybe put an estimated price on what I want to spend. And then I will think about it. So I'm not going out and just going, oh my God, I need new trays for the oven. I'll go out now and just impulse buy them just in case we don't need them. You know what I mean? So I'm really trying to do that a lot more. So I'll write it down, think about it. Bigger purchases, obviously we'll spend more time thinking about it and thinking, okay, well, in the meantime, I'll just save for it. We'll see what, you know, how we're going with that and whether we really do need it. And sometimes you'll get, you know, like big purchases, you'll get a couple of weeks down the track and go, oh, I probably don't need it actually. I'd rather put that money towards something else. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Even with the small items, sometimes I'll be going through my kitchen and think, oh my God, I really need this now or whatever. I'll write it down on my list and go, I'll get that next payday or something payday comes and I think, do I need it? Probably not. I scribble it off because I might've just forgotten about it. Honestly, like a week could have gone by and I'm like, Oh, I didn't even really think about that. No, I didn't, don't really need it. So I will cross it off the list. So that's a really good trick to do. If you're thinking about stuff that you really think you need, figure out whether you, it's a need or whether it's a want by just writing a little list and just keeping an ongoing list there. And yeah, spending some time thinking about it before you actually do it. 
So the first thing I got were these photo frames. Yes, they are a need, not a want. I mean, I do want them, but they are definitely a need. And I'll show you why in a second. But you can get these. I we I just wanted the wood ones just so they go kind of go with the furniture in our house. Um, in the past, I've got just a black one or a white one. Like, they're very simple, very easy. But I prefer just to have something not too fussy. And the thing I like about the Kmart ones, at least, and I'm sure Big W and that are the same too, is that they've got the mat boards inside. So you can you know just put your photo behind it then it gets stuck to the glass it just makes it look really nice it's a clean finish these ones here these were for an 8 by 10 or 11 by 4 so if you were doing an 11 by 4 which is just slightly bigger you just pull out the other mat there but these were six dollars each so cheap you can have them sitting just on a bookshelf or you can hang them so I really really love them um, so I got three of those for our photos that we had done on the actual cruise the cruise, let me show you the photos guys, how crazy are these? I love them. Every time we do a cruise, we go and do the photos, like the portrait night, we get dressed up one night, we go and have a photo, and we've done this over the last, well we've done three cruises now, over the last, say, uh, since Joseph was two, so 10, 11 years, and we get a nice family photo. It's our professional family photo. They do an amazing job. You've got so many backgrounds. You can have as many photos as you want, like different casual backgrounds, superhero backgrounds, all those types of things, just fun stuff. And it's if you actually want to buy the photos, they're about $35 each. That's on Carnival. But I love them. It's hard to see it in this lighting, but... The colours are actually really good. I think it's just a little bit faded here. But we've got our family photo there. Then I chose this one of Johnny and I. And then this one of the kids, which is really nice. There were so many to choose from. It was so hard to choose. But we wanted, because you can do so many different backgrounds. But we chose this background in the end. So I was trying to get three photos that were similar. I could have bought more photos, but it was just didn't have the money but for $35 each it's such a cheap photography session and they are amazing like they're such good quality photos we love them hang the frames I actually got these so these ones I've not used these ones before usually we get like the bigger hooks and I hang like the canvases and stuff like that on the kids walls like the fun canvases but I decided to get these because we're renting so I don't want to go banging holes in the wall <laughs> because then we've just got to fix it when we leave so I don't really want to do it not that we're planning on leaving but if for some reason we have to I just don't want to have to deal with that so I got these they're perfect I make sure I buy this exact brand not the cheaper Kmart brand because I've seen people use those and they mark the walls they rip the paint off these I've never had issue with hooks and stuff like it's they're amazing so I use them you've got to use them correctly all the instructions are on the back there they're not very expensive I think this pack might have been maybe five or six dollars and there's three hooks in there which is what I need but you just put it on the wall follow the instructions and when you want to remove it you just pull this tape down slowly not towards you but slowly down and it comes off the wall it's amazing like it doesn't pull the paint off it doesn't mark it it's been amazing so and we've used this in like really old houses with old paint and stuff and it's been perfect too so I did get these to hang up those photo frames in our lounge room snuggles <laughs> I'm trying to film a video, honey. Off you go. Um, I did get another one of these. So I've got one of these at the moment. It's a stainless steel steamer insert for your um, saucepan, basically. So I've got one at the moment, and I usually do, like, potatoes in the bottom in the water for mashed potatoes. And then in here I have a veggies to steam. The kids have started being a little bit fussy with Joseph. I'll eat cooked carrots, but he doesn't like corn. Isabella likes corn but not so keen on peas so I kind of need to separate the peas and corn <laughs> if I can so I've got one another one of these so I can stack them so I'll be able to put you know corn and what am I saying no maybe peas and carrot in the top of this one like cooked carrot and then underneath I'll go corn and then underneath that is the potato so I can have three things cooking at once um so and Isabel loves carrot too oh no she'll cook she'll eat the cooked carrot sorry Joseph won't eat cooked carrot. He'll eat raw carrot. So I just, as I'm cutting it up, I just sort of give that to him. Um, but I've just bought it so I can separate it. So these are great. You can stack them up. Um, I already have a lid, obviously, that will go on top of that. You just got to make sure you fit the right one to the right size saucepan, which this one is a 20 centimeter. Um, but they're great. They do, if you've got gas stove though, stove top, 
just like saucepans with the metal handles, you need to use like a tea towel or something because these heat up with gas, obviously. Um, but otherwise, they're great. We've had out the other one for years, like I'm talking over 10 years. So they've been really good. So I just got another one to do that with. Um, but it was uh, $12. I did get a fun little bath bomb. This was a new one I saw in Kmart. I do miss my bath bombs that I used to sell, obviously. <laughs> um, but so I've gone back to Kmart. Kmart's got an amazing range. Obviously, um, you know, not as great as the ones I was selling, obviously. But I, I, we still love them. And they're super cheap. Like, I think this was like $2.50 maybe. And this one's a rainbow one, which we've not had. Now, was this a need or a want? It's a need for mum, for sanity, because I bought this to get Isabella to get in the bath tonight because I know she's going to be like trying to go, oh, I just want to shower so she can have a quick little thing and get out. But I just want to soak her. <laughs> I want to put her in the actual bath and give her a really good soak and just she can play and stuff. And bath bombs encourage that. So I bought this one. Came out have lots more out at the moment, like a really good range and a great range for Easter. So have a look at your local Kmart if you're looking for something but um, I thought this was a good one we've never seen this one we usually get the galaxy one which is lots of like purples and pinks and stuff but I thought this would be really fun because it's rainbow another little fun item was the bubble ones I got 24 of these orange bubble ones yes they were a need <laughs> these are for the class gifts for Easter I'm going to be making these into like a carrot really simple easy project I'm going to do another little video on this just a really simple easy video just so it can give you guys an idea because I do these if you've watched me in the past I do bubble wands for Christmas class gifts as well where I put tinsel on top and do a label very easy simple they're cheap they're 50 cents each at Big W and at Kmart generally the orange ones I get at Kmart but otherwise Big W have a better color range they have like green blue purple pink and I think orange in there um, whereas Kmart just have orange pink and blue I think that's it um, at Easter time the orange ones go really fast so I tried to do this last year and I couldn't they sold out um, but this year I got in early so I've got the orange bubble wand um, I also use these obviously for little thank you gifts at birthday parties too they're really good options so if you want to see what I'm doing with this one definitely keep an eye on the channel or it might the video will probably be up before this video so have a look um, but yeah really easy so these were 50 cents each and I needed 24 that's including for Isabella uh, so yeah really cheap $12 for 24 of these every 12 months or so I tend to need new oven trays because they're cheap they're usually at five dollars each the single ones that I get and they just tend to just wear out basically because they're cheap Kmart ones but they do the job for at least 12 months usually this time around though I got a pack of three in different sizes so I usually get like one like the big one two of those usually I get that but I thought having different sizes will be better because I feel like especially when I do my pizzas I don't because I do um them on that what is it like a pita bread type thing you don't want to put them on an actual pizza tray because there's holes in the bottom of that and it'll burn it very quickly so I put them on the trays so trying to fit four because I needed four usually on the bigger trays was a bit of a problem so I'm figuring with this I can easily do two on the big one and then one each on the smaller ones and will fit all in my oven because I've got a quite a big oven. So that's why I got it. Plus, again, it's just like having a smaller one for cookies if I'm doing cookies or just something smaller rather than having those big trays all the time. It's going to be really good. Now, this here was, let me look at the list. Oh, it was uh, $12 for the three pack. So I thought that was pretty good. Last thing I got was this two tier storage set of drawers. My idea for this, this is not very big, I'd been eyeing this off for a while, I need to make, like think of ways to make more room in the pantry on one side, um, which is where I have like my meal bases, spices, um, my sauce jars, soup tins, like that kind of stuff, and I thought this would be perfect right now to have like my meal bases, packet meal bases in the bottom, like deviled sausages and stuff, and then maybe my spices in the top. I don't have a lot of spices because I generally, if I cook with anything, it's like a bit of salt and pepper, I have forgetta, um, and maybe like a mixed herb, and that's pretty much it. Um, but I can put salt and pepper and everything up here, I'm figuring, and then just have yeah, my bases down here. So that's why I got it. This was not expensive. It was $12.00. But this could be used in like your office if you've got an office as well or kids rooms on their desks. You know, you could use this for a number or makeup. You could use this on in your bathroom maybe for makeup and stuff like that. 
I just thought it was a really good yeah, option. So I'm going to give this a go and see how it works in the pantry. And I'm sure you'll see that in a future video. But I don't know. I just thought it was a really good idea. It's a bit of a space saver being that it's, you know, stacked twice. I have a great little plastic shelf that I got from Kmart years ago in the top of my fridge where I sit it up. And it just creates a separate, like another shelf in my fridge. I put the eggs on the top and then other things underneath. So to me, this is something very similar. Like you could use this in the fridge too. Like how good would that be? So I don't know. I thought it was a great idea and I really like it. So I'm going to put this together and see how that goes. But yeah, like I said, I'll probably show that to you maybe in a future pantry video or something. I am working on making my pantry more functional. Not Pinterest pretty, it's going to be more functional. So I'm going to show you guys that um, down the track as well. So I don't know, I just thought it was a really good purchase. Highlighters, I took some of these out before just to test them. These were only $3 a packet. Now you can get your normal bright colours, um, but these are more like a pastel-y colour. They still work great. The reason I wanted these though was for me to... <laughs> Um, just separate and highlight things in my actual day-to-day -day diary like my planning um, because I need to actually separate things for you know the kids and for me for work and then just general things for the family so just having some different colors I thought would be best to do that I did used to have highlighters but they've just all just worn out and kids have taken them and stuff so these are for mum only but they're yeah they're more of a pastel color so I thought that was pretty cool I liked the colors it will still highlight just as not as bright as obviously your regular highlighters so that's everything I got in my Kmart haul. Not a lot of things, but like I said, they were needs, not wants. So I really tried to just get the things that I needed. Um, but some of the things I thought would be useful for you guys. So I just really wanted to share it with you. Um, keep it on the channel because I'll probably put it up before this video is me just doing that Easter gift for the class, for Isabella's class. Um, it's a really cheap way of doing it and we've done bubble wands for years, especially when Joseph was in primary school. I do them for Christmas all the time. This is the first time I've done them for Easter, but doing them for Christmas is a really good idea too. Like it's fun. The kids love it. They generally go through the bubbles within the day, but that's okay. They like it. And like I said, it's, it's just one of those things you can do that if you've got allergies and dietary requirements and all that in the class that you can't do lollies and chocolates and things like that you know it's just something cheap that you can do as well so we really enjoy it so anyway guys thanks so much for watching today's little haul um like i said try to do your needs not wants as such um writing that list is a really good idea too like i said you can just kind of always look at it and go, well, do I really need it? Probably not. I'll cross it off or yep, I need it. Let's start saving if it's a bigger purchase. Like it's just, yeah, a really good way of doing things and um, stopping the impulse buy. <laughs> and like I said, very hard to teach my kids this at this age, but I'm trying my best to sort of teach them that so they don't end up moving out of home and just having a house full of stuff they never use and just junk. You know what I mean? It's a bit of a waste for everything, the environment, for themselves, just waste waste of money <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm trying my best with that anyway guys that's it for me today thanks so much for watching and i'll see you probably tomorrow bye the things that we'll do